Hey guys, Car Crew here with a BMNG Drive mod review. And today we're going to be taking a look at a mod for the D series called the Gavril Bandito. And it adds a very nice looking truck into the game. And it's kind of like a Ford Bronco in a way. This one is the base, um, uh, the base straight six model and if we go into vehicle configuration we wait for it to load up here i don't have the fastest of computers or the most well built as the cpu fan fell off this morning um and if we go to bandito body and we scroll down to cap we can completely remove the cap from the truck itself and then you can see here we got a whole new truck, pretty much. So, we're gonna take it for a drive. Now, this one is faster than a normal D series because obviously it's shorter and more lightweight. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. But, yeah, this is only the straight six model, so it's not that impressive. So, we're gonna go for a crash. It actually is pretty. Nice gradual damage crash here. Gonna stop it up and look at the damage. Quick message here. I am now using OBS and I have not figured out how to um like cut the videos, like pause them while I film so I can go spawn up the other one off camera. If you do know, please put it in the comments. Thank you. For now, you just have to wait for my computer to load. Our next version is the Bandito V8. It's the same version with a V8 and a little bit of nicer rims here. It's got a two-tone on the trunk, at least. Not the trunk. What am I? Who am I kidding? The tailgate. Let's go drive it. Let's go this way. This one does also have a cover over the rear wheel. And if you open the rear door, the window does go up, unlike in the D series itself. And the um the wheel does go out. So let's just drive this as fast as we can into something. Also the is no center console if you have bucket seats. And I think there was one. We're just gonna crash it out here. External crash. Can't even see it. My engine has hydro locked. Yeah, so. This is a worthless bandito. On to our next, most, more interesting version of the truck, as far as I know. They're all pretty much the same. They all just have more power, more off-roading capabilities. But the next one is the Bandito Military CUCV. The CUCV, commercial, commercial utility cargo vehicle variant, is a military modified Bandito with a heavy-duty suspension components and a brush guard. This is what it looks like. It's like every other one, except for the front grille's green. The bumpers are green and there's no rear wheel in the back. This one probably has the small V8 because it's not as fast as the other one. See, look, no center console and bucket seats. I don't know if it's like that in the real truck. Yeehaw. Ride'em cowboy. This mod is quite a bit older. I had this way back when I used to play on my laptop. You can go look at my last channel and get some footage of that. Ugh. Anyway, let's go to a better camera angle here. And look at the damage. It's pretty damaged up, but I don't notice any oddness in the way it crashed. 
Except for the fact that the tailgate still works. And that that kind of shakes, trying to open itself. Oh, that's just the tailgate hitting it. Anyway, on to our next version of the Bandito. It's under the D-Series section. If you wanted to know, or if you didn't already figure it out. We're on to the Bandito V8 Special. The Bandito Special Edition. Bandito. Bandito. I've always thought I was saying that wrong. Special Edition with upgraded suspension, blacked out front fascia, bucket seats, tinted glass, and a white STX and white STX off-road wheels. Now, they said it was a special edition with a sporting paint job. So if we put it into rear-wheel drive and turn the parking brake off, will it do a burnout? Not at all. Oh. It just gave me an idea. I'm gonna drift it. I'm gonna try and drift in BMT Drive. I'm only good at drifting in Forza games. Haha! That's what it's gonna be like when I'm a teenager. On to our next version of the Bandito. It's in here. We have the Bandito V8 Freddy Sawyer. Freddy Sawyer Edition Luxury Package. Bandito with top of the line interior tinted glass running boards, special alloy wheels, and an underside mounted spare. Ooh! All of it sounds so luxurious for just $12,000. The price said almost $12,000 in the corner. So this is it. Let's see how luxurious the interior is. Oh my god, it's so luxurious. It has a center console. It's got the Romer steering wheel that's extra luxurious. It actually doesn't look bad. And it does actually have the undermounted spare tire. It's right there. Well, let's actually go for a cruise in this one. Like, let's actually drive it around. We're going for like a race right now. We'll go to the. What is this? Reverse. Could have sworn I disabled that camera mod I just showed you on accident. Anyway, we're just gonna cruise until I find a good place to crash it. Crash it, move on, and there's only two more versions left. I know. In the comment section, comment what you want my next video to be. Do you want it to be Force Horizon 1, Force Horizon 2, Force Horizon 3, or do you want it to be another BMG Drive mod review? Or do you want me to play like Jalopy or something? I've played Jalopy so many times that it's not even. But anyway, this car does cruise quite nice. I'm sorry about all my apps around the place. That annoys you, I'm sorry. Because I got the roll and the pitch monitor. I got the steering monitor. I got brake thermals. I got a throttle, brakeage, clutch, and parking brake thing. And I got a map. And I got an airspeed gauge. I use the airspeed for when I'm doing fast things. And I got a no damage thing. Because sometimes I'll bump into a tree or something, right? Then I'll try and drive straight. And a car will pull to the right, but it'll only show my bumper's damaged on the normal one. So now that one will show what nodes are damaged and stuff. So 
right up here looks like a good place to gradually bang it up until it stops working. Oh, that was a nice two wheels. I'm just gonna bang it up on the wall right there. I'm gonna come around and we're just gonna plow straight into that wall. There, we're gonna just keep going this way. We're gonna hit the tree and break the engine. Now on to our next version, which is my favorite version of the Bandito, which is the... Actually, no, it's not. There's... Oh, there is three more versions. One, two, three, four. Four more versions. Yay! Now we have the Bandito V8 Rancher. Bandito Rancher model combines rugged features with a high trim level for tough work on the ranch. Features a large 5.5 liter V8 Upgraded suspension, fender flares, running boards, special dealer installed brush guard, ooh, and off-road lights, and gray STX off-road wheels. Now, you might think, is this one good for off-roading? Because it looks like it's got some ground clearance, right? The answer is no. As for it has a limited slip rear differential and a open front differential. It is very good for off-roading, but it has a very supreme ride on the roads. About a 45 mile an hour corner of a little bit of squealage. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna turn right here. We're just gonna squiggle on up this road when the road ends, crash it, we'll get another one. Kinda of wobbles a little bit. Wobbly. It's a wobble truck. See it wobbling? Truck, not a wobble truck. Watch it wobble. Right here. I decided I want to go down that dirt. Ooh. What's in there? Playing Jungle Rock Island almost every time, and I've never seen this before. We're just gonna go on through here. Oh. Just needs to here, which I have been here. This looks like a good place to crash it. If it wants to crash, not even one node is damaged yet. It's a perfectly good truck, still. If anyone knows how to bring up the JB structure, please. YBR used to do it in his old videos, link to his channel, and distribute his inspiration for all of this. Now we have a flat tire. Um, he used to bring up the JB construction for all his mods. It doesn't bother me that he doesn't do it anymore. I just kind of want to know how to. Off the cliff! Engine broken. This looks like a nice place to try and drive a bandito, except for it's kind of like closed in. Well, Aw, okay, we can just bring it back there with insert. We're gonna spawn up the next version of the Bandito, which might be a little hard to drive here, but it's gonna be a challenge that I'm not gonna do. We're doing the Border Patrol, we're doing that one next. The Border Patrol variant, Bandito, has lifted suspension, 31-inch off-road tires, and a bull bar. But it's not a factory-installed brush guard, like the one on our previous model. It's got sirens, lights, it works. Good. Now we can patrol the border, and if anyone tries to come in here illegally, they can... I was gonna say stop them with my truck, but it broke. We're gonna try and get out of here with the Border Patrol version. Border Patrol isn't the best for off-roading, but it has good enough off-road capabilities for Now I have a nice off-roading course I want to try on the off-road course, which is last. I have a feeling there's going to be a road up here, because it's nice. We 
can keep going though. I see the road. It's right there. What are we stuck on? Little baby tree? I have a baby tree in my backyard and it's not that powerful. It literally fell over. And a baby deer trampled it. Now it's dying. Leave a like if you think the baby tree should live. Or leave a dislike if you think that my videos are bad. Then I'll know I'll have to improve them. Now I'm gonna get like 12 dislikes. Let's go back in the hole. We just came out of the hole. So let's go back in. Ooh. That was a much more nasty one. How? The other one's engine broke. You can still drive. only front wheel drive now. Oh my god, it's so short. I want to bring it back here and drive it on the pavement. It's like that one movie where the guy's car gets so damaged. The guy's police car gets so damaged, it's gonna overheat and die. So it's a quality TV show. On to our next version of the Bandito. That would be the dun -dun -dun -dun, Bandito V8 Sport all-wheel drive. The Bandito Sport features a supercharged V8, all-wheel drive, and car-like handling. We'll see about that. Stop it really quick. I don't know. I guess I'm too lazy to slam on the brakes. That's a bad thing. We're gonna go to the frame. The steering wheel disappeared there for a second. Uh, did it again. Watch the steering wheel. It might disappear again. Calf. What the whole front? Oh. We're going to remove our cap, and it's going to be a, uh, 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 a ute. I don't know. It's not really a ute because it's not really a car. Is it going to remove? It's not a ute because it's not a car with a pickup bed. Thank you. Now, we, as you can see here, no bed. Red interior can be used in the bed. This is maximum utility sportage, guys. Well, it's just four wheel drive, so I can put it in rear wheel drive mode. There's a burnout. Let me see how nicely I can get it down to the road. Can I get it to the road safely? Yeah, if you have a bandito, that's just how you drive it to the road. See if you have a vehicle that resembles a bandito in real life. Drive it like that. Go back up here. It's fast. I was gonna go straight off the cliff, but it handles so well. 100 miles an hour off the cliff. Tree. Instantaneous. Oh my god, that's the best off roader. Look at that suspension travel. Like whoosh, whoosh. Look at the suspension travel on the off road guys. Our last version, I know, of the Bandito. I know, I keep misclicking. There's no, I can't figure out how to pause the video in OBS. Is the off-road. 
The off-road Bandito has lifted suspension, 33-inch off-road tires, fender flares, custom bumpers, a snorkel, and a <gasps> roll bar. Spawn it up and something instantly breaks. Something just ate something else on the inside of this. How much you want to bet the rear seats... Oh, I, th I think I know what it is. I think the rear seats are eating the roll bar. So we're just going to go into configuration, frame, body, because it's kind of shaking. Um, rear bench seat. Hello? Rawr! Please, be nice. I'm filming. Empty. I think my computer's had it with me. This video's getting long, isn't it? Nope. Maybe it's the cap. But who cares? We're off-roading now. Charred. Oh my god. I think it might get too much wheel spin if we go up this trail here. Just freshen it up with a whole new whole new truck. Buy a copy of BMNG driving an expensive computer and go off-roading because it's gonna be cheaper than doing it in real life. The new superchargers sound really nice. I don't wanna see how fast this truck will be 0 to 60. Don't off road like this in real life. There we go. Alright, for our finale, we're gonna see how fast this truck will be. Supercharger sounds good, but I can't handle it. Go. Go. Let's try half the. See if I can get this truck to do 100 miles an hour. Go. Until next time, that'll do it. I'll see ya.